Hey there tubers, Redneck Brian here. Very different look for the Massey now. This will be part two of the Massey teardown. I'm not 100% if I'm going to post both of these videos now or wait till it's fully torn down. So yeah, the rear end's out. I'll show you that in a minute. Both fenders are off. The rear tubs are still on it. Uh, the bolts on them are pretty rusty and the seat's still on. The bolts on that are very rusty. But the only bolts that snapped were the two foot plates, which are right there. One has the gas pedal still welded to it. I'm just going to take the pedal itself off. And it's very cold out. So I got my heater going. My friend from down the street just came over. We uh, muscled out the rear end. There's, there's actually only four bolts holding the rear end in. Four bolts and then there's um, the brake band. And it has two bolts that tie into the frame right there. And this is four bolts accessing this access panel, which is right there. And then the rear end just had four bolts. Here, here, and here, and in the middle right uh right there right there so yeah it's very easy to take out very very easy rear end to get out all i did was i loosened off the tension on the brake i didn't know how to do it but uh we actually had room to move it to the right and down but didn't know so loosened it off anyways here is the actual brake what's left of it i'm going to look into seeing if i can get a new one hopefully i can but I don't got no model number. The model, numbers, no, the model number on this is worn off. So all I can tell the guy it's a 70s era Massey. About 75 Massey. So I have gotten some few more parts in for the new look. But I'm waiting on one more thing. And I'll do a video of them. I am bringing it in to get sandblasted. So that's why everything's coming apart now. I found the shop where my stepdad works. They're going to do it for me for 50 bucks or two cases of beer, which is great. But I'm not going to take out the steering wheel. The amp meter there, which as far as I know, it's still good, is going to stay in. Let me see if Mac will do anything. Not really. So, yeah, this, that amp meter is going to come off. I'm not really worried about the decals. If anyone knows about where to get some decals, and primarily the shift pattern. It's the only ones I really need to know. Um, I'll, I will probably remember. I believe it was reverses back and to the left. First was back to the right. And you can still see second, and then that would be third right there. Four speeds, so... Up towards the front, like I said, I'm probably not going to be taking the dash out because the steering, unless I can figure out a way of getting the steering apart, that's pretty much next as soon as I get the fenders off, which may not be till Wednesday now. It's Monday. I'm getting tired. Uh, I was working. Uh, didn't work too much today. A couple hours, but I was, I was out all morning. So, As you can see, there's the one brake pedal, and the other one's missing. I cut it off, so I'm going to show you it, grab it, and first I want to show you the chunk of steel. This is just a piece of the steel that uh, I had to cut it off, and then I had to recut this again so I could shorten it so I wouldn't whack my leg on and cut myself. Uh, here it is, right here. That's just an old uh, DC uh, electric motor. Or AC, that's 110. Here it is, it says clutch on it, and there's the cutoff. Which is, this pedal is actually in very good shape still, nothing wrong with it. It's uh, an original Massey pedal, so. And the label that says clutch brake is still in good shape. This one here is still in reasonably good shape. Down there. This here is the emergency brake handle. Basically the parking brake, so whenever I use it for my brakes, actually. Um, because my tensioner always went into the motor, which is up here. I'm going to do a video immediately afterwards talking about the motor. So stay tuned for that. And let's go outside where the tires and rear end are. I am debating on sending the rear end get it blasted. I don't know yet. Um, these are the four mountain bolts. I stuck them in because it actually goes straight into the housing. 
and it's in neutral right now. And there's the brake. There's the uh, be the main pad, and it's in good shape. This pulley here has to come off, so I can put a smaller one on there. Because currently this is running about one to one ratio, so and I obviously don't want a one to one ratio. And the tires, our rims are going to get blasted. The tires are actually reasonably new, even though they're cracked. Just saw that crack right there. But they are reasonably new. There are actually nubbies on a few of them still. And there's a nubby right there still. There's a few nubbies still on here. So these tires are not that old, but they must have been left a little flat. And that one's a little low on air. They must have been left go flat and then they cracked. So but I'm going to keep them for now. Hopefully they. They should be able to blast them on the rim still. So I'll get them to blast them. And I'm just going to paint them black. So it's not worth money, my money to go to a shop, get them taken off the rims, and then have to bring them back in and get them put back on the rims. So the front two tires and rims are in the house. So eventually I will get four new ones. But yeah, and so I still got these dummy tires on here right now, which I was actually driving around on. They're absolutely dangerous. These things are very, very worn. No bearing. The one has no bearings on the inside, so it's just rumbling on the outside bearing. They're not even the right shaft size. So right here and here, these are the the mounts from the uh, gas pedal cable. So and here's the tensioner pulley, which I'm going to try to modify a bit if I can. We'll see about trying to modify that a bit. So it doesn't go into the engine. So whenever after it comes back from getting blasted, I'm going to do some dry assemblies on it. Probably not the rear end, because I I know what has to be done to the rear end. Not not really much. The only real fabrication on this is up front. I got to work on some of the motor mounts, and I'd like to fill in this and this and these a little bit more. Cause that's where I. I broke the drill, as what happened was when I was putting the new engine in this, I broke the drill bit and so I had to use a grinder. So that's pretty much it. It's in a pretty much semi stripped condition. I will do one more video when it's fully stripped. I may post these two right now, part one and part two. I haven't yet decided. So stay tuned. Talk to you guys later. Keep it redneck and uh, please subscribe and comment. Bye for now. One last quick overlook. So again, if anyone knows about where to get the decals for these, please let me know. It would be greatly appreciated. I just need the shift pattern one, so.